What's good, YouTube? Hit me at Ace. Make sure I hit that like, hit that sub. Show your boy some love. Real quick video. I'm finna lay it down in a minute. But um, I just wanted to touch on a few narratives that's getting pushed out here after this game. Um, first of all, shout out to the Phoenix Suns for coming out here doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, Devin Booker led us in scoring with 30 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. Uh, I know Kel chipped in with 13 points. And I think Cam had 16 points off the bench. Uh, listen, we all seen the game. It was an overall great game, great performance from the Phoenix Suns. The Lakers came out here and put punches in their mouth the first, I want to say, five minutes of the game. Hold on, hold on, Showtime, I'm going to get you. The first five minutes of the game, they came and tried to make this a game. But once the Phoenix Suns took the lead, we didn't really look back. So I feel like they did a great job of responding to the Lakers' energy and trying to match it or um, just outclass them. And they outplayed them this game. Um, LeBron James had 24 points. He did everything he could to win this game, but uh, just wasn't enough, man. He's just, in my opinion, like I was telling a lot of people, um, in year 18, you're over-experienced. A lot of people said they ain't never heard over-experienced used in a, in a debate. They, don't, they didn't understand. They wanted me to elaborate what over-experienced was, and it was very irritating to have to do that because it's like, why am I doing this to grown? Why am I doing this with grown men? Why am I explaining myself to grown men what over experience is? Right? When you're in year 18, Father Tom is undefeated. Right? Outside of Anthony Davis and Kuzma and all those other how many young guys do they have on this team? I mean, Mark Gasol. We've seen how he looked in a pick and roll. Complete liability. Right? Wesley Matthews is not the same player. This is an older team, and that's what I'm talking about. Now, like I said, a lot of people are gonna gonna come down and, and push narratives immediately. Uh, LeBron James, oh he's he's done. Oh he's in retirement. He needs to retire. They need to trade Le LeBron James. Listen, man. Like I said before, anytime twenty four points. Let's go over the full stats for LeBron James. Twenty four, five rebounds and seven assists is a bad night. That's a bad game. Hit six threes, six for ten from the three point line. That man couldn't miss. And that's a bad night for LeBron James? Cut that cap out, man. I'm not trying to hear it. All right? LeBron James is an all-time great player. To be in year 18 and to still come out here, and even though they got blown out by 30 points, let's call it a spade a spade, he still came out here and put this put his, put this team on his back and he still had a chance, still had my heart beating like, damn, this is LeBron James. Or at any given moment, they could – you know, show up. But, I mean, look at the rest of his team. I don't want to be a, a a common LeBron James fan. Y'all know I'm not a LeBron James fan. But we got to call a spade a spade. The rest of his teams look like shit, right? Drummond, 7 points, 13 rebounds. He had Markeith Morris starting, man. KCP. Hey, we ain't about to do that, y'all. Let's stop that. Come on, now. Kuzma was the second leading scorer with 15 points. LeBron James is, is, in, is in hot water. Right, it's just that simple. Another narrative I want to uh, kill because Elder, the one who's been pushing this one, he's been in the text message talking all kind of crazy, y'all. Elder's been in my text message crying, man. I never thought I'd hear Elder crying, but Elder want to come with the crybaby shit. I don't want to hear it, Elder. All right. So apparently, right? Let me talk. Let me talk to you, Elder, and talk to everybody. So apparently, right, the Phoenix Suns, since we're up thirty, and we have our third stringers in the game. We're not supposed to shoot threes. We're not supposed to, to extend that lead. Our third-string players aren't supposed to get points or um, try to at least earn some minutes on the court. Right? Like, what kind of sense does that make, Elder? Elder, you accused my team of hot-dogging, and you said we're going to regret. We're going to regret doing what we're doing. How are we going to regret that, Elder? They're just doing their job. They're getting paid millions of dollars to go out there and score basketball. What's wrong with you, Elder? What was you saying game three? Was you saying the same thing after game three? Was you saying, oh, the Lakers are doing too much right now? I mean, they on the sidelines celebrating, mocking the Phoenix Suns, hot dogging the Phoenix Suns, trying to treat us like we little kids or whatever, right? You don't think we, we took that personal? That's why Devin Booker pushed uh, Dennis Schroeder in the back in that play, right? Because y'all was doing too much. But you don't keep that same energy when it's your team, though. Hmm. Not coming with the excuses, y'all. Uh, CP3 went out. Hopefully, he, he could come back healthy. Uh, he didn't look like he was too hurt. 
I think he was just trying to draw a, a flagrant foul. A lot of people were saying, oh, that's Bush League. Oh, oh, oh that's, come on, man. You, I can't respect that. That's, man, bro, LeBron James come out here and fake injuries 24-7. When are we going to keep that same energy, people? Like, look, I'm tired of uh, ethering and debunking all these, these little t talking points y'all have because it's little kid points, man. At the end of the day, the Suns are out here doing what they're supposed to do, but we still have one more game. The series not over. It's not over, y'all. We still got one more game. We got to make sure we close this game, th this series out game six. Just that simple. But I got full confidence that my team will come out here and do what they got to do. Just that simple. And like I said, shout out to Phoenix Suns. Shout out to the Suns Nation for coming out here in drones and, and doing what they're supposed to do and keeping that same energy because we're the only ones that keep that same energy. Rest of y'all, y'all flip-flop, hop ships, right? Change narratives, change it, change the standards. That's what y'all do. We don't do that over here on Suns Nation. Period, point blank. But hit man next, I'm out of here, y'all.